So there we have the Pava 20 with its LED light and I can turn it on and off with the button on the remote controller. So let's take off my glasses so I can put on my headset. Just hope I don't drop anything here in the dark. So let's see if we record a bit here. You can see how much I can see without the uh, It's really cool when you can see the what the hell is going on. So it's a good thing I have the LED lights on it at least. It's easy to find as long as the battery is attached and uh, not really sure why it's acting up like that something is let's try with the gloves off You are recording, right? Yes. I mean, you can. So it's so dark here that I can't see two feet in front of my face without having a flashlight. But uh, we, you do get a lot of noise in the goggles when you're flying, when it's way too dark outside. And. Uh, LEDs do help, so you have some idea where the ground is below the drone when it's just pitch black. As you can see the ground here, and you can see myself there with a torch on me. And here I turn off the LEDs, and you can see the ground disappears pretty much. So it does make a difference to have some kind of a light on the drone if you're flying in complete darkness like this. I wouldn't really recommend it. But in low light situations the Runcam Nightlink HD is a really impressive little camera. You see a lot more than you think you could possibly do with a, with a camera in, those, uh, in these low light conditions.
that's what we can do with the power 20 with some leds and a run cam night eagle hd camera so it does work and like i said it's super dark up here so i can't even see in front of me without a flashlight any other camera wouldn't work at all so it does make a huge difference and this is a clip just flying around the house where there are little more lights around me and snow on the ground so it does make a huge difference on how much noise noise the camera makes and uh, you can properly see all the lights surrounding us So you need a little bit of ambient light at least to use this effectively. So I will try and get a moonlit night and uh, try and fly there too to see how much how much just the moonlight does make a difference here. But uh, this is a cloudy night. So thanks for watching, I might do a couple of more videos with a comparison maybe what you can see with the Runcam Nightlink versus a O3 unit or a, if you should, if you're starting out with a new drone, should you get a Pavo 20 or the Avata maybe, which is better for a beginner, a beginner FPV pilot. But let's see, if I turn off the LEDs here, this is how dark it is. And it's still my face somewhere here in the dark. I can't see myself on the screen either. So it's really, really dark at the moment. See if you can see it.